Woo! Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Daily Crypto Trade Signals in the house, guys, live from Vietnam. This is our evening time, drive time update, guys. So hopefully you guys are chilly, really, and having a good morning out there. Good morning, wakey, wakey, rise and shine to all my Asian brothers and sisters. Uh, good evening, and I guess you're preparing to uh, leave work, and uh, if not already at home, and chillaxing with the family. And uh, all my friends and brothers and sisters in Europe, uh, Middle East, and uh, Africa, and India, and wherever you guys are on planet Earth, Welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here. We got a great video to talk about. It looks like we got some really huge, big breaking news that involves Dogecoin, Starlink, and Starlink nodes that are going to be sent to outer space soon. That's going to allow people to transact with Dogecoin and, and basically t take all the bankless people on planet Earth and allow them to transact remotely through Starlink, no matter where you are, guys. You could be on the top of a mountain and still be able to uh, transact in Dogecoin. So this is really fantastic news. We're going to talk about some Shiba Inu news. Why Shiba Inu is going down, dee 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 dee, down, down, tankity tank tank. Should you be worried? Should you be panicking? What should you be doing? I'm going to talk to you about that. You need to watch this video to the end. And the alien says, watch this video to the end. If you don't watch this video to the end, ah, I'm an alien. You never know what aliens can do. Maybe I'm not sick. Maybe I've been mind melded. Just kidding. But anyway, that's what the alien said. So anyways, guys, yeah, how am I feeling? Well, I'm feeling so-so. I'm feeling around about 70, 75%. But I worked up some energy to get this video to you. So if I'm if I'm taping this video and I pass out, then you know I overdid it, right? Go figure, right? So let's jump into it without further delay. Also, one last thing. we got. It looks like the Fed is uh, you know rolling back some of its uh, stimulus package. So that $120 uh, billion that it uh, pumps into bonds every month, looks like they're going to be curtailing that. That's also one of the reasons why we're seeing Bitcoin going down because a lot of people thought there was going to be, uh, you know, getting the Bitcoin was a hedge against inflation. And some Debbie Downers and weak Nancys are like, oh, maybe inflation is not going to be that bad. Really? Wake up, guys. Wake up. Okay, so let's jump in it. Let's jump in it. Let's jump in it. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to go back and watch my previous other videos. Watch these videos over and over and over again. And if you haven't watched them at least 10 times, what are you doing? At least watch them 10 times. Remember, you can only smash it like once and you can only subscribe once. Uh, so go, up, go and do that, guys. And uh, don't forget to take these videos, paste them in your socials. Paste them in your socials. Get the message out for OG. Thank you, Alien. I really appreciate that. We appreciate that. So uh, with that being said, guys, go down there right now. Smash the like. Smash the like. And subscribe to me. And don't forget to comment. And also, I forgot to tell you, this video is not financial advice. This video is only for education, entertainment purposes. And that's the purpose of the Alien. The Alien is to provide you with entertainment, fun facts, and make you giggle. Make you giggle. All right, guys. So remember, this is... Uh, you know, not financial advice, it's just for education, entertainment purposes. And remember, guys, it's so important that you guys secure your crypto assets wherever they live. Turn on your two-factor authentication. Guys, be very careful. And also, too, if you're in, if you're using public Wi-Fi and you're checking, you know, things like MetaMask or Trust Wallet or any of your crypto, be careful, okay, guys? Because, you know, people can install key loggers and stuff and, 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 and hack your computer when you're using uh, public Wi-Fi. So try not to do that uh, using public Wi-Fi. And the best way to do that, secure your to secure your data, is you can use 4G. So if you're in a public place and you want to check your bank or you check your crypto, connect to 4G. It's secure, guys, because it's end-to-end, -end, right? Uh, so if, you know, if you're just watching YouTube, I like watching OG's channel, sure, use the Starbucks or whatever public Wi-Fi you want. But when you're doing sensitive stuff like bank accounts or crypto, don't use public Wi-Fi. It's, dang it's dangerous. It's dangerous. You can get you in trouble. You can get hacked. We're seeing more and more of that happening because so many people in crypto. And if you don't want to use your 3G because you're going to burn up your data, you can install some VPN. There's tons out there. I can't, I'm not going to recommend it because uh, I ain't chilling for VPNs. But that's, that's you know, but trust me, uh, you know, 4G, 5G is pretty secure, guys. And then so that's something in case you didn't know that. Be careful. Also, too, if you're in your office environment, and you're checking out your crypto, once again, use your 4 or 5G, it's safer. Because a lot of you have the habit of when you're at, 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 at work, you're checking your crypto, and you go walk away, go get a coffee, and you leave your computer on. You can get hacked, guys, so just be careful, watch out for that. So let's welcome some new members in the house. Remember, this is not financial advice. 
let's make it let's welcome some new members in the house welcome to the family guys we got uh, elijah molina in the house vip member and remember all vip members don't forget to go to the about section of the video and go down here scroll show email send the email right here vip and super members send the email here with a youtube handle your membership uh, your membership uh, level and uh, tell me when you join and uh, we'll get that uh, link to the private whatsapp group coming out to you right away guys so also uh, let's say big welcome to christopher in the house another vip vip members guys and uh, these uh, these guys i love these guys because when i was sick and i wasn't making videos they became vip members so god bless you thank you that made my day i look like yeah okay and sammy in the house and we got martin in the house and we got uh, we got uh, amanda Vivian, viviana in the house welcome god bless you thank you for being here and also too we got some uh, some minty fresh subscribers and these are minty fresh subscribers today yay, yay. so we got uh, chel for color we got william in the house we got uh, alexandru we got donna we got jack and we got Stephen, and we got london Lad. welcome guys welcome to the family welcome to the channel guys so without further delay let's jump into it right now so the first big story that's coming it looks like federal reserve is to taper bond purchases promoting concerns over btc impact so like i said you know the fed what they're doing right now is they're going to start to reduce right now they're, they're buying about 120 billion dollars every month of uh, bonds right so what they're going to be doing is going to be reducing the asset purchases by 15 million a month starting this month so it's going to be like 105 billion right so and this is going to continue and they're going to reduce it to uh, 80 billion then to 70 billion per month and purchases of the government back mortgage securities will drop from 40 to 25 billion per month and this this whole project is supposed to end around uh 2022 about mid 2022 so it means that the that the stimulus package uh you know that they they're doing for the you know the virus relief uh so they're going to stop doing that so let's hopefully uh that the economy will recover or maybe it won't i can't really speculate but that's one of the reasons we're seeing uh that the bitcoin went down today because you know a lot of people have moved bitcoin uh bitcoin bought bitcoin because they thought it was going to be a hedge against inflation but people are thinking that uh because of this that the inflation rate is going to drop and that the fed's going to not print any more money for you well i don't think so because according to alien does the fed always just print money yes they do so are they going to stop now no they're not so i don't think the fed's going to stop their their behavior their long-term behavior just printing money when they need money to print and also the infrastructure bill it's still TBD, guys. We were, we were thinking and hoping that we're going to get by the end of October. What happened? So I don't know what's going on. Uh, what's going on? Maybe they're going to delay. That would be good. You know, the whole, the you know, let's uh, let's hope they delay that uh, bad boy because nobody needs the infrastructure bill, especially the uh, especially the whole crypto part of it that we don't want. Nobody wants. We don't want the regulation. We don't want the regulation. I mean, I don't mind regulating stable coins, and you know, some regulation is okay, right? Look at the Squid Game token. I mean, come on, guys, that was a rug pull. And I told you guys, remember this is not financial advice. I told you guys that it was a big a big uh, rug pull and. Uh, don't forget to smash that like smash the guys show some love for the og in the house show some lovey lovey love for the og in the house you guys know you want it some other news that's coming around right now is her majesty's customs and revenue so it looks like uh, they're 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 gonna send a nudge letters to crypto investors okay and what these nudge letters are is they're basically or they're they're reminding the her majesty's revenue and customs ew her majesty's revenue and customs ew so it looks like they're going to plan to send nudge letters, not love letters, but nudge letters. I guess they're kind of like love letters, right? For them, not for whoever receives them. And uh, these nudge letters to crypto investors warning them, warning them that they have to check that they have paid the correct taxes uh, for their crypto. And this came out in the financial chimes. So, and also to you, we're also going to read that you know, you know, one of the first exchanges in the UK to be forwarding data and information to Her Majesty's Revenue Service is Coinbase. So if you have a Coinbase account and you're in the UK, guys, uh, then Coinbase is basically ratting you out to Her Majesty's Revenue and Customs Service. And uh, basically, they've uh, ratted you out. You, They got your name, they got your number, and they know your transactions and all that crypto, crypto goodness and uh, her her majesty's revenue uh, and custom service is going to be sending you a love letter aka the nudgy wudgy letter and they're going to nudge you politely into paying your, paying your taxes 
So just be just be aware of that. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you what you should do and how you can avoid that because that wouldn't be ethical. Uh, I mean, you know what I mean, right? So get ready, guys. If you're in the UK and you get your nudge letter, let me know. And if any of you, uh, if any of my subscribers have gotten a nudge letter, send me a comment, guys. Hit me up on Twitter and let me know that you've got a nudge letter. I like to see if if you guys are actually getting these things. So it looks like. Uh, so Coinbase has uh, basically ratted everybody out, and it looks like a lot of other exchanges that are licensed to to operate in the UK will, in fact, uh, be ratting you out and uh, you know telling uh, HMRC HMRC that uh, you you got crypto and they're going to come after you for taxes. I do not know. I have no idea what the tax uh, taxes are. In the UK for crypto, I don't know if it's like 25% or 30%. It's probably something ridiculous because I hear the taxes over there are crazy, insane in the membrane. That's why Asia is good because the taxes ain't so the taxes aren't that high here, yeah. you know. So that's all I got to say about that. Some other stuff that's coming, in, you know. So here's the big news. It looks like it looks like here we go. Is that a Starlink node will be set up for Dogecoin as part of a long-term effort to help those that are unbanked and unconnected and save and transact. So it will be off the grid and will allow the decentralized currency to proliferate. Doge developer Mitchum is spreading, spearheading this engineering effort. So it looks like we're going to have Dogecoin nodes in outer space, and that means that you know if you're sitting if you're sitting in Timbuktu, you know in the middle of nowhere. On a, on, a, on a tree on top of a, on a hill and you've got no internet you can use the Starlink node and you can have Dogecoin wallet and guess what now you can transact globally around the world and you can be in the middle of nowhere what do you think alien is that fantastic it's fantastical so it's great guys so you know what I mean and it's going to be decentralized so they're probably going to be using some decentralized exchange to make that happen right so you'll probably get your dogecoin wallet and you'll link it to a decentralized exchange and that way you can you know exchange it to feed and back and forth and make transactions right so i don't know if uh, her hmrc is going to be too happy about that because it's going to be decentralized and they're not going to get uh, they're not going to get uh, you know if it's decentralized decentralized exchanges they don't rat you out right not like centralized exchanges they love to rat you out to all the tax authorities all right guys so watch out for that one guys it's a, it's a, it's a slippery slope you know it's like Occam's razor right uh, some other interesting Shiba Inu news is despite every everything today and today has been a huge Debbie Downer event for the Shiba Inu and Shiba Inu's right now is down like 13 percent on this this one and uh, you know luckily luckily let me just adjust this chart so you guys can see it so this is the four hour chart so luckily we have this whole descending triangle I talked about it this morning for the, for the Shiba Inu for the Shiba Inu army announced hey guys if you're liking this content smash the likes Smash the likes, Rocky! Smash the likes, Rocky! Smash the likes, Rocky! Thank you for support. And you can see that we have this huge descending triangle that goes all the way back here to like end of October when we hit our all time high. And, uh, you know, we've got this, we've got some really, really peachy keen, uh, green, supporty, sporty line right now. And it uh, looks pretty good, guys. It's at around 54. So as long as we stay, as long as we stay in there, and we did, we were range bound for a while, then we kind of collapsed. And this was, this is all due to this whole Kraken thing. Remember, remember I told you about the Kraken, the Kraken thing, the Kraken, the crack, the Shiba Inu progress to the moon. Huh? And this is all about, you know, uh, you know, basically cracking. They're so full of it. And uh, they had said that, you know, uh, if we get 2,000 likes and uh, if we get more than 2,000 likes tomorrow, yada, 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 uh, that they would be listing, right? It says right here, look, I'll, I'll paraphrase. Let me paraphrase. And uh, it says, Brian, Brian Lyra, Lyra Hoffman, yeah, said, if we get 2,000 likes, uh, we will list Sheba tomorrow. But he doesn't think we can do that. Okay, so he said that if we get don't get two thousand likes, we're not going to list the bad boy, right? But in fact, we got seventy nine thousand four hundred likes, guys. And then, uh, you know, like uh, you know, like forty eight hours later, they come out with this one, and they said, "Community, okay, here's the here's the here's the, here's them here's them like, right." Community is an important part of our considerations for all listings, and you have clearly shown your support. There, there is more work for us to do as we move through our listing review process. Like, come on, 
what a bunch what a bunch of uh, extortionist kind of you know it's like you said if we get 2,000 likes you're gonna list and now you're saying you're not listing you're gonna have to review that that seems like Kraken is misrepresenting themselves here because they said they're gonna do one thing and the community did it and it's now up to 80,000 likes thing and thing and thing and then they come back and say oh we're gonna review it what's that all about so that was one of the reasons that we saw the Shiba Inu go down. Also, with the other reason was that we had uh, we had a huge whale of about 1.5 billion moving around some of his crypto. Uh, remember, this guy he invested like eight thousand dollars way back when. It's worth like 1.5 billion, and he's only like uh, you know around about 1.5 to 2 percent of the total circulating supply. Remember, it changes because Shiba's got the burn, right? Shiba's got the burning burn. And uh, so he's been, uh, he's been, he actually has been selling, taking some profits, and then he's been moving it to other wallets. I don't know if he's giving gifts to his auntie, his uncle, or whatever. But that's also been one of the one of the factors that we're seeing uh, Shiba Inu going down. And the other reason is, guys and gals, uh, you know what I mean here. Shiba Inu in October it went up like a thousand percent, guys. You know what I mean? Like, come on already. So you know, for for Shiba Inu to to cool down a little bit, to to cool down a little bit. It's not, it's not unprecedented, you know, it's, it's not unprecedented, you know, it's, it, it, it went, it went cuckoo, right? You know, it's up like, you know, it's up like 300% in just like since the 22nd. So, you know, and in the whole month from the first where we are now, it's up like a, over a thousand percent. So for, for Shiba Inu to kind of cool down a little bit, take a breather, <laughs> You know, it's very normal, guys. So I wouldn't panic about it too much, guys. So don't overreact out there. Uh, advice of always is have time in my hands. Don't panic. You can dollar cost average if you want. But I would wait a little bit. I wouldn't do any dollar cost averaging just yet. I would wait a little bit. That would be, that's not financial advice. It's not, that you may want to consider that. You know what I mean? You may want to, you may want to consider that. Okay, guys, I consider it. Smash the likes, guys. What are you waiting for? What's going on with you guys? You know, there's a thing that looks like that. You go down there and you tippy-tappy, tippy-tappy, and you smash it. So why can't you do that? I don't understand. You know, you watch the video, you don't subscribe, you don't smash the likes. So what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Go watch paint dry or something already. Okay, show some love, show some support. I work hard for you guys. I sh you know what I mean? I'm doing this for you. Okay, so some other news I told you about, uh, you know, uh, despite uh, everything today, Shiba Inu has the third highest volume on Binance after BTC and Ethereum. So you're seeing that the volumes are still there. Yeah, because people have been selling. Okay, so, you know, Shiba Inu news, don't spin it the wrong way. But, you know, the volumes have been there. Some have been selling, right? Uh, some other some other news from Tweety Tweet, Tweet Tweet, is we got Glassnode coming in. The number of addresses holding 0.01 Bitcoin has just reached an all-time high. So it means that the minnows are still accumulating. The minnows are still buying up the Bitcoin. And that means that the FOMO retailers are starting to jump in, guys. And when that happens, we're going to see the uh, the uh, price of Bitcoin and other other uh, old, other old coins, including Ethereum, are going to start to go crazy, guys. So you know, expect today probably when we probably when we get into uh, you know when America wakes up, uh, the, the, you're probably going to see some red, guys. So don't panic about it. It's got this whole Fed thing, and that you know they're going to curtail the uh, stimulus package and all that. Don't worry about it. In about 24 hours, it'll be blown over. Nobody will care about it anymore. You know what I mean? And then this is from Crypto Ed. Crypto Ed in the house, and he's basically saying that he's very bullish about Bitcoin, and he sees that there's this huge patent coming, and that you know he really thinks that. You know, at, at first, his first target, he said, like, Bitcoin's going to hit 73K. He's readjusted that. And I think that the target has moved up to 90K. And after a uh, correction, we'll see uh, 100K. So basically, he's saying that the first target, the first target that we should be shooting for is going to be around about 73K. Okay. So we're probably going to have a little bit of a dippy doo doo, a little bit of a dippy doo doo correction, and then we're going to go up, have a little bit of correct correction down to 74, and then we're going to hit the holy land, the holy land of 100k, guys. So that's incoming, guys. So don't worry about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is looking pretty good. Also, shakeouts and Bitcoin have been bullish in the last few weeks. So we're seeing a couple of shakeouts a shake out here, here, and here. And if we get another shakeout today or tomorrow, don't worry because we recover very fast. And we're going to go to the moon, guys. So don't worry about that. 
And the last tweety tweet here is I talked about cracking. Cracking. You guys are not being honest and truthful. You're not keeping your promises. Kraken, you're not keeping your promises. You're not keeping your promises. Promises, why do you break your promises? Kraken, you need to keep your promises. I'm the alien and you need to keep your promises. Okay, so the alien is also not happy with Kraken. Yeah, you know, what can I say? So right now we're seeing the fear and greed is at 73. It was extreme, extreme greedy weedy yesterday. People like greedy, greedy, go, 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 go. Uh, so that's pretty good. You know, I, and when this goes down, it's dropped like three, uh, three, three points. Yeah, you can do some DCA. There's probably uh, some good projects to pick up that have probably dropped anywhere from five to 10%. You know, like sheep's down, right? So let's, we'll jump into that. We'll take a look at, keep watching guys, keep watching. Don't, do not click away from this video. Remember, OG been sick for three days. I'm not feeling 70%. So I'm like on life support here to get this video to you. And you got to do me a favor, show some respect though. And watch it to the end because I'm like, uh, I'm in pain and agony here. Because I got the, the stomach flu. Uh, I'm in pain. But I'm doing the video because I love you guys. I love my peeps. I love my community. I love my subscribers in the house. I love everybody. I even love the haters, guys. The haters got to get love, right? You know, somebody, somebody's got to show some love for these guys. So you can see the market cap right now is, you know, we were like 2.74, 2.72 the past couple of days. Now we've dropped. Uh, maybe it's because the OG is doing videos again. That's why the market cap dropped. I don't know, maybe. No, I don't believe that. It's because nobody listens to OG. That's why the market dropped. Okay, thanks for support. Alien loves to support me. I love it. Support me out there. Smash the likes, smash the likes. So the total market cap is at uh, two. 0.69, we're almost at 2.7, guys. And uh, big, big bitty in the house, it's at 6.1602. Uh, Don't panic, we've been here before. We're still way above the 21 day, day EMA. It's like in the rear view mirror. This is still pretty bullish, guys, so do not panic, go in the house. Uh, we can see that we have this, uh, this uh, bull flag formation. Uh, Bitcoin has gone down a little bit today. It's down like almost two, three percent, and this is mainly because of this whole Fed, Fed thing, right? It's because of the Fed thing. It's nothing else. It's not, it's not fundamentals. It's the Fed thing, and I wouldn't worry. We're still as long as we stay in this range between this and this. This bull flag is going to play out, and that's going to take us up to sixty-eight thousand very shortly, guys. So don't panic in the house. I'm not panic. I'm not worried. I'm too sick. I'm too sick to worry. You know what I mean. I'm worrying about if I'm gonna, you know, expire here. Okay. So, so we're looking at the theorem. The theorem is looking pretty good. It's still trading in this uh, upward uh, channel line, which is very good. And the peak of this channel line is around about uh, 5k. So right now, Ethereum is trading at uh, 5,000, uh, 5,000, 4,511. Get your word. I'm sorry. Okay. I made a mistake. Don't beat me up. I'm sick. Okay. Okay, sorry subscribers, sorry subscribers, oh geez, sick. And uh, you know, sometimes the alien's annoying, huh? You know, it's like uh, like my wife. Me, 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 me. Sorry, me, me, sorry, you know. Just apologize. When your wife's mad at you, all you can do is apologize and pretend you mean it, okay? Because you know, they can see it when you don't mean it. And then that starts a whole new episode of, you know, the whole drama starts again, right? You know, the fight continues. So right now, uh, Ethereum is at uh, 4,510. It's still within this uh, this channel line and it's going up, guys. And as long as we stay here, we'll be pretty bullish, guys. And we're only seeing that uh, things are going down because the market cap drop, Bitcoin is going down. It's this Fed thing, guys, so don't worry about it. So let's take a look at our glorious Doji Woji in the house. So Dogecoin has uh, been pretty much range bound all day today. It's going sideways. And it's and it's been doing that. It's been doing that since around about here, since like the first of November. And it's and it's at twenty six uh, three seven. I wouldn't worry about it. You know we have some we have some really good support around here. We have good support at twenty five. Our next overhead resistance is at uh, twenty seven. But it's really light resistance. It's light. It's light 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 light. We have some major key resistance at 29. You know, hopefully with the Starlink uh, news uh, that uh, I've, I'm reporting, not a lot of people are talking about it. Not a lot of people are talking about it. I don't know why, but it's really bullish news. If that happens, it's gonna, uh, Dogecoin is gonna go to the moon, to the moon. Dogecoin to the moon, guys, we're gonna get there. So yeah, they don't worry about it. So right now, let's take a look at Saitama in the house. So let me give this a minute to refresh because coin market cap, it doesn't auto refresh which I don't know why, but it should. It should be a feature, right? So right now we're seeing that site time is at 9056 and it's at down 6.55%. So we're seeing a lot of down, downage, downage, 
We're seeing the ADA has done absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing things this morning. It's still above $2. It's absolutely boring. I mean, some people, analysts are going to say that, you know, we could continue this consolidation for another couple of weeks. I anticipate by the third week of November, we could see uh, ADA start to do some pumpy to pumpy to pump. So I'm hoping that's going to happen. Hopefully, uh, you're going to love it too. So guys and gals, let's take a look at Solana in the house. Solana also is down a little bit right now. And uh, Solana has given up about 2.36%. And it's at $2.37. But it's doing okay, guys. We had this W pattern. We broke out the neckline. We went up. And we're still, you know, my target, my, my short-term target, uh, hopefully by next week, is $260. So I'm hoping that we can get there. Get there with your support, guys. So don't panic sell, guys. Uh, this is not financial advice. Smash the likey, wikey, wikey, wikes right now. Smash the likes. Guys, guys and gals, smash those likes. Uh, let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at market cap. It's at two point seven. Let me refresh this. I don't think this is correct. I don't think that's correct. Let me refresh it. Yeah, it's correct. Remember, remember, uh, live coin watch is different, right, than exchanges because the number of number of coin it's just different. Uh, you know, uh, different exchanges have different uh, cryptocurrencies, so their total market cap is different, right? Live coin watch has more coins, hence the market cap is higher, right? So right now we're seeing that market cap is two point seven eight on live coin watch. Check it out, www live coin watch. Not chilling, uh, but that's what I'm using in case you're wondering. And uh, total volume right now, guys and gals. And, and aliens and aliens is 126.17 billion. And my Bitcoin dominance is at 41.82%, guys, guys and gals. And uh, right now we're seeing that uh, the total, the, the coinage in the house, we're seeing that uh, Bitcoin is down 2.44%. It's at 61,714. Uh, Ethereum is at 4,513, guys and gals, and that's down almost 2%. Yeah, see, I'm talking, I'm driving the prices down. And uh, BNB is at a weird number, 555, uh, and that's down 0.1%. Uh, and Solana is up, still up 4.28% uh, for the day, so it's still holding strong, it's holding its own. And it's at $238. We're seeing ADA is at 202, boring down 4%. And uh, DOT is up 2.5%, so that's not too bad. It's at $52.92. And uh, it, it's not, not too shabby, and we're, we're getting pretty close, only 2% from all-time high, guys. So that's not too bad, and Solana's 3.5% is all-time highs. Uh, Doji Woji is at 26.45, and uh, that's down 0.4.17%. Come on, Dodge, get it up. And we're seeing Shiba Inu is uh, you know, bleeding out a little bit right now, and it's 36% off its all-time highs, and it's at a bunch of zeros on 5.6, and that's down 14.67%. Luna right now in the house is uh, about 4% is all-time high. It's up 1%. So guys, take a look. You know, there might be some bias here. Right now, I don't see anything that's worth picking up. Everything is still looking okay. Everything is pretty much in the green on the seven days. So there's nothing really that you could, and there's nothing, no really, no real bargains. You could look at Phantom, but Phantom is down 20%. I don't know if it's going to pick up again. Eh, I would hold off on that, see what happens. Mana is still up uh, 251%. I, I think it's a little late in the game to get in there. I will wait till this, this comes down a little bit, you know. So with that being said, guys, don't forget to go to my Twitter. Twitter. Don't forget to go to my Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Guys, we've got 2,949 followers on Twitter. Can you help the OG get that up to 3,000? I really, really appreciate that. Go there, follow, follow, follow. Follow right now. Come on. Don't get the OG mad, I'm not feeling good. And uh, with that being said, guys, don't forget to go down there. Smash the likes, it looks like it looks like that. Smash the likes, subscribe BYB, comment, and guys, let's get this video to a thousand likes. Don't forget to check out my link in the below. Uh, remember, none of this video is financial advice. Absolutely not financial advice, do your own risk management. And uh, remember, support the channel, become a Patreon member, buy the channel a coffee, do it, do it now, guys, you know you want it. And at the same time, guys, uh, don't forget to check out my merch. We got hats, we got hoodies, and don't forget to get the mug, mug the mug. And guys, gear up with the OG gear, guys. Why would you want to just be hip and fashionable? Gear up with the OG gear. Get some OG gear. Get it now, guys. And uh, also, don't forget to uh, go to Zen Music Addict. You know, happy wife, happy life, happy, you know, happy wife, happy life. Go over there and subscribe. Show some love, show some support, guys. And uh, with that being said, I just want to say, God bless each and every one of you. Be well. Be blessed. Hug your wife, hug your kids, live life like every second is your last. Live every second and make it count, guys. Spread a good vibe. Remember, post this video on your socials. 
get it out for the OG, get it out there, spread the message, guys. I love it. The alien says, we lo I love you too. So we even getting good vibes on the aliens, guys. So I love it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Woo!